Hey, this is Coach Conley with Conley Hoops. Today's video is all about becoming an elite level point guard. I've coached and trained for over 20 plus years and my job is to help you become the best varsity basketball player you can be. Being an elite level point guard is probably the most important role that a team can have and these players come in all shapes and sizes, but the main goal is that they have to be able to lead your team. Today, we're discussing the keys to becoming that elite level point guard, what every program needs out of them and how you can become one. The first thing they should all be is reliable. And reliability comes in a variety of ways. First, reliable means being available all the time. If you're not available, if you're out hurt and you're not at practice, there's no way you're reliable enough to lead a team. So keep in mind that your availability is a huge responsibility. Second, being reliable to handle the ball all the time, to handle pressure, to be able to get the ball up the court and run plays and execute and not turn the ball over. Lastly, your coach has to trust you. He has to be able to trust that with the ball in your hands, the team is better off, that you can actually do the things that you're needed to do out there. You have to have that skill. Second big area is you have to know your role. There are a number of different roles that a point guard can play on any given team and any given program. You really have to know what does your coach need out of you, maybe not even overall, but at any given time during a game. Some coaches need a really aggressive point guard that can run the tip of a press or trap, or they just need a ton of pressure. Maybe it's a defensive role. Some teams need a point guard that can bring the ball down and get into every play and make sure that everybody around them is always in sync. There's other teams that will need you to be a scoring guard. They will need you to bring the ball up, create opportunities not only for yourself, but for your teammates. And then there's sometimes that the point guard has to do all the scoring. Maybe they need to take over a game. And these things could be overall for a whole course of a season, or it could be in any specific game. Maybe that point guard needs to take over the scoring role because his teammates are not doing a very good job. Or maybe they need to hit crucial shots down the stretch, free throws, open threes. Maybe they don't even take that many shots in a game, but at certain times, they have to be effective. Hey, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below if there's other things that we can help you with. We want to be here for a long haul, so please like, subscribe, and help our channel keep growing. Third element that I want to talk about today is control. You have to control the tempo as a point guard. You can't get into the fast-paced frenetics of a game. You have to know the difference between when you need to slow down, when you need to speed up, when you need to take advantage of certain mismatches. You have to control it. You might be able to run a fast break one time, but you also need how to get in a play. Maybe the other team is on a run. Your job is to know these situations and know what the coach is going to want from you, even if your coach isn't saying it. Another one, you have to be a leader. You have to be a positive leader. You have to be the glue that holds your team together. You can't be phased by mistakes. You have to let things roll off your back. You have to be able to hold your teammates accountable. And that means maybe you're having a bad game, but you still have to be like, that's my bad, I'm gonna do better, but you guys have to do better. You know, you have to make sure that everybody's always playing together and that your positivity is bringing your team together. There could be situations where your team's down 20. There can be situations where you're having an off game. Maybe you've even turned the ball over. Your ability to be a leader and keep that together and make sure you're still fighting for the same goal is one of the most important skills you can have. Another area, you gotta be able to make shots. And I know I talk about making shots a lot. I think it's the most important skill you can have probably, but as a point guard, you have to be able to make shots. You also have to know the difference between a good and a bad shot. Your job is to make the team run smoothly. So if you're taking a bunch of bad shots, bad layups, shooting over four people, it's not going to make your team want to follow you. Your job is to hit timely baskets. Your job is to get to the free throw line when you really need two points. And you might have to guard the best player at any given time and make a shutdown play. You have to be able to score in bunches. There has to be opportunities for you to score. And in some games, it might be a lot. And sometimes it might be one three at the end of the game. That's your job as the point guard, and you want that responsibility if you're going to be 
the elite. These are just a handful of tips that I've picked out. There are so many for the point guard position. Know that the point guard position is one of the hardest positions to play. It isn't just the person that brings up the ball all the time. That's not the main goal. It is a highly responsible position and one that takes a lot of work and discipline and confidence to play. Remember, your relationship with your head coach is probably the most important on the floor. So to be elite, you have to have a great relationship with that coach. Do what they want and be able to execute down the stretch and you will be one of the elite. Hey, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's another video coming up right over here. Hope you check it out and we'll see you next time.